What's up guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing absolutely fine today in this video I'm gonna be talking about three design trips and tricks that you can try with the pixel lab app there are already three videos onto this channel for the tips and tricks series so if you want to watch them you can go and click on this i card which is coming up onto the video and you will get all those videos and i hope that you will watch all those videos after watching this one and i really hope also hope that you will learn something new out of this videos and without any more wasting time let's get started is going to be that how you guys can add curves into your design like you see on the skin these are the designs that have some curves and some of you really like uh, dm'd me onto instagram and mailed me that how you guys can create these kind of curves into your design now talking about curves these curves are actually very a little not very but a little old-fashioned but sometimes they do really come in handy when you create kind of uh, old retro designs and that is something that always you should know that because like you don't know what kind of trend that you want to create design into and i think this curve effect is going always going to be helpful okay right now we are on the pixel lab app and i have chosen this uh, uh, this image size right over here as you can see and uh, this is like the gray background and uh, let's add a shape over here from the plus icon once you add that one just fill that shape with the uh, four into, into this whole workspace area so that's what i'm going to doing uh, with the gray background and the white rectangular layer, layer on top so i'm going to select this marks option right here clicking that enable option you will be able to add uh, this marks onto your layer that you have selected now as you can see there I, this is the marks uh, option that we have and these are the settings on the right corner so these are the basic settings that we are going to use today and we are going to create that uh, you know curve layers that you can that you see onto this designs so what i'm going to do is i'm going to decrease down for once you select the visor tool option you will get to see these two options where you can add and subtract the nodes so i'm just going to subscribe nodes and keep two nodes only now that is what i'm recommending that you should use only two nodes if you are new to the visor tool and uh, yeah pretty much that is the thing once you click on the move option you can rotate and increase the size and decrease the size of that uh, effect that you are creating so this is what we're doing right now in and out maybe you want to keep the inner part maybe you want to keep the outer part and that's this is what the basic settings are you can always go and check out uh, these these functions in your pixel lab and you will know more about it so I what I've just uh, imagined that I'm going to add this curve effect uh, like this as you can see on the image and uh, what to create that effect you will have to play around with these two nodes that you have. So just dragging down the lines coming out of those nodes if you select a node then you can see those two lines and by dragging them you can control pretty much the wave effect that you have. On the basis of that you will you, you can understand what the effect is going to look like and this is uh, this is what I'm trying to do here. So, uh, you can always, you know, go go back and forward with the size of that effect, so that you know that uh, how the effects are going to be and what are the changes they would have to make. Now I'm again going to uh, decrease the size and I'm going to select this node and maybe like add more, you know, elements to it and know that how this waveform is actually reacting to my changes. On the basis of those changes, I have created this uh, kind of. Uh, wave with the bottom if you see clearly you can see this bottom like wave happening right here so that is what i've created and uh, yeah this is pretty much it you can basically rotate or re rearrange the size and you can control the wave effect that is happening over here now select in and out i'm going to be selecting this in effect and that is pretty much done so once that is done now you have left with this thing which is uh, looks like this and uh, you can always go do changes to this template as well so once you select ok to the by the tool you can select and make some changes onto this layer as well now once i place this uh, right over here what you're going to do is you're going to copy this and place uh, a white you know you, you can copy your image so let, let me place an image first. Yeah, this is the image that I'm going to be, be placing right over here. 
and this is how it looks with the image so i hope you are getting the point that what i'm trying to say over here you can always uh, you know make your own changes what do you want to have with your design as i always say and uh, yeah to add those colorful wave effects what you will have to do is add uh, you will have to copy the layer so right now what i did is copy the layer and i'm adding color to it let's say i'm going to be adding colors related to related to the image maybe yeah why not let's pick the color and from here i'm going to add this color right here so you can keep on adding layers like that into colors and you can have multiple shades of colors into the same uh, curve effect so that's what i'm doing and you can always keep the first layer white so that it matches with the background so the, the topmost layer from the palettes from the colors from the curves this curve effect will be the white layer or the background layer where you will be keeping all your text or logos or everything so this is how i'm creating it i hope you got the idea that how you can create uh, things and also i have created uh, you know this color palette over here you know yellow color palette that you can see right now and by adjusting the things you can always create something like that i also created something which is in my uh, this option right here which is my projects and i have just created this before this recording so that i could explain you everything and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the sake of this video i am actually uh, you know keeping it simple you can add more complex curves and play around with them so this is a very simple a very unique and a very useful trick that you can always try with curves and add curves to your designs and what mean by curves is mean these curves so yeah play around with them you will know more more stuff about if you you know, actually try it by yourself and uh, yeah this is the curve fit and let's move on to the next tip that we have coming up the second tip of this video is going to be color palettes now color palettes are very interesting i do like using uh, color palettes onto my design and i do like to have some kind of changes with the colors that i use onto my designs and now color palettes are something that really plays a uh, information you load a, a really good load as you can see my editing the video editing is actually a color palette so i do like to play around color palettes and i do like to have some kind of great color palettes onto my you know mobile so that i can have some kind of good uh, color palette options when i design for a graphic design for a someone like maybe a client work and that's why i always check out color palettes that have used by graphic designers maybe there are images available onto the internet which i really find colorful and you no know, want to have color palette of that thing and today in this tip i'm going to be telling you how you can create a color palette from any image or any design and actually you can share that color palette to other designers maybe your friends and that's that's going to be a very helpful feature i have used that color palette effect into my you know to create generate uh, color palettes from images and designs and actually i have shared some of the color palettes to you guys as well so generating and uh, creating color palettes is actually very simple and that's what i'm going to show you right now so let's open the pixel lab app this is the obviously the default section right here from the top uh, top corner i'm going to change the color image size let's say i'm going to change a little bit wider uh, yeah let's choose this thumbnail size over here and what are you going to do is what am i going to do is add an image so there will be an image that we want and that we like and we want to have a color palette from that image you can always do that with the designs as well right now this is the design that we have this is the image that we have from which we want to have a color palette so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to place that into the layers first of all the image and now i'm going to add a shape layer uh, from the plus icon right here now this is the shape that we want to you know create the color palette with so what i'm going to do is actually accidentally create okay so select the layer option and right now what i'm going to do is click on this plus icon and click on this pen tool now once you see this one you will always see the image if you have added it already and now from here you can pick a color from that image or that design now what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose the first color which will be the which is will be available for the you know most of the part of the image or the design and that is actually this aqua blue once i have selected that one that will be added onto that layer so this is the fa this is the way you can add and pick colors from it you can always adjust if you have a little bit of adjustments over here and you can 
you know this is the color that matches with uh, the image so this is how you can add colors now let's see i'm going to copy the same you no know, layer i'm going to place it right here and i've got a call so let's uh, let's 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 edit that one okay so right now we've got uh, we've, we've got this another shape and we want to add the second color for a color palette so what i'm going to choose is do the same thing select the layer select the plus icon select the color that we want to have like uh, i'm going to choose the orange one right here yeah i'm going to choose the darkest blue because i think that will be uh, that will be one color that i want to have you can always want you can you can you can always decide what color you want to have in your color palette you can always click or skip some of the colors but yeah i'm going to add the major colors from this uh, color palette and the yellow and the blue is quite a contrasty color palette so i would definitely going to use this color palette as well so yeah the third color is obviously going to be the orange one and uh, that is really simple C uh, click on the you know do the same thing over and over again and you got the orange part now i'm going to go add one more color and that will be a little lighter orange that is available right over here and yeah i'm going to skip that green leaf i'm going to skip a little bit of white color as well because that will be really common and uh, yeah let's go head over to you know this layer that we have copied click on this option click on the plus icon click on this pen tool select the design that or our image and select the color that you want to create or add into the palette so i've selected uh, this lighter orange and here we go we have all collected all the colors if you got more colors you can always you now click on that and see you know this, do the same process but uh, these are the basic colors that i have with this image and i think they are pretty much good to go so right now what we'll do is i will just pre present those color colors in the night nice way what i do is uh, expand the size into horizontal or maybe vertical way and place them neatly onto my image so this is where how i'm going to place them these are my colors and this is how i actually make color palettes and share with you if i mostly i like uh, colors from some designers and if i like them i'm just going to copy all the colors because that i really do and yeah just save this image and there you have you got a color palette that you can share use over and over again and you don't have to do this all this process onto you know some of your designs so that is something really 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 good and you can see there are more options over here coming up onto your screen where i have copied uh, a color palette from an image or a design and placed it onto my pixel app design that is actually very helpful and you guys can create the similar thing and have some good you know vibes with colors now let's move on to the next and the final design tip and trick that i have okay coming up on to the final tip and trick that i have for you actually this is a graphic design tip basically but uh, this is deals with uh, qr codes now qr codes are actually very impressive they have been everywhere right now you can find them on instagram telegram on the payments app and qr codes are very much in trend because they are fast people do really like to have you know scan with their phones and get to the link than just you now old fashionedly typing in the everything so i think this is something that you should use on to your designs as well qr codes is actually very simple and if you don't know anything about it i'm going to show you how you can add actually real qr codes on to your design and using qr code is not going to be uh, something you know uh, very difficult for you because it is actually very simple and it is actually very fast efficient and if you have qr codes into your design your design will also look up to date it will look like trendy thing it will give you like some good vibes just because it has some good things into it so okay right now we are on the google chrome on to my mobile phone and what we are going to search is basically qr code generator that's what we are going to search once you search that you will find couple of links which will give you directly a qr code generator option but i'm going to choose uh, as you can see there are more uh, websites that i can generate free qr codes but i'm going to choose this one this is the website that i'm going to be recommending once you click on that website you will get to see this uh, you know ui of and uh, things onto the website it's actually very simple not that hard okay so right now what you will have what you will need is 
copy the link that copy the link that you want to create the qr code of it could be social media it could be a website it could be anything right now i'm going to place my youtube channel link over here and i'm going to create a qr code for my youtube channel so that's that is something really ha that's cool right once you click on uh, paste the link you will just have to copy the link of your channel and just place it over here into the url form uh, there are some premium features over here as well you can see but once you click on that generate the uh, you know the qr code you will get this option called download now once you download this you can like always download into the vector files as well which we don't need you will just need the png form click on that and yeah you will be able to download this option download the qr code of your channel link and it's downloaded right now it into your galleries so that is very simple you know just click uh, copy the link that you want to have get on this website paste there and you will be able to download the qr code of that link that's really simple now there are many options available onto this websites and there are multiple websites that you can try and actually this uh, the trick that i have saw onto some of the canva designs and i thought why not create that effect or that this feature onto pixel lab as well and i just come up with this website and this really works fine so now on i might be be you know might uh, be able to add some qr codes onto my designs as well and uh, that is like something uh, that we have and we can do and we'll definitely add that things onto the into our designs if they are needed so why not actually uh, it is actually very simple let's see i have this design onto my pixel lab app and uh, i want to you know place this qr code that i have just generated so what i'm going to do is go to the image this is the qr code that we have downloaded and we are going to zoom you know zoom out a little bit obviously this design will be a lot of bigger into the printed size and uh, yeah just place that into uh, the bottom maybe you can have some different uh, you know versions of your qr code you can add more effects to your qr code that it looks good but yeah this is like the basic thing that you can go and do for your social media links for your uh, website links youtube channel links anything web page link anything it could be anything and you can create a qr code and place it right onto your design so that is something really really you know cool that i think and i hope you will uh, you know understand what i'm recommending this because that is actually really trend trendy right now and uh, yeah this is the tip guys and these are the tips that i have for you i hope you have learned something out of this video and if you did just make sure you hit that like button if you are still listening to me and listening listening to this video you are the hardcore graphic designer and if you are then please hit that subscribe button to get more videos on to graphic design on the pixel lab and on to the mobile that is pretty much it for the video and i will catch you guys in my next video